Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Have computer, we'll watch web, but sometimes there's more to the web than just a single web page. Sometimes you want to track conversations that are happening in your social networks, and you want to watch video at the same time. Well, you can. And all three of these screens are being powered by one computer, an ultra-portable computer, believe it or not. And we are here at AMD to find out more about what's happening in the productivity space with Casey and Raymond. So who wants to tell me about this first? I'll tell you what, I'll start with Ifinity and then I'm going to hand it over to Raymond. Okay. Um, so what you're seeing here, we've already kind of gone through and hopefully you've had a chance to look at the other videos and see what we've done with Ifinity for gaming. It is an incredible entertainment experience as you've seen, makes the games more immersive uh, and it also gives you advantages in your gameplay because you can see triple the resolution. Uh, so you, you see enemies coming at you sooner than they would see you. So there's some definite advantages there. But what I really wanted to, to show you is I spent a lot more of my time actually doing kind of digital media and productivity work. And this is really where I get excited about iFinity because, um, you know, for myself, I can actually sit here and watch, watch live TV with Media Center, with Hulu, whatever. I can actually uh, open up a web page, do some research, catch up on, my, on Facebook and, and re, you know, respond to, to people. And then I also have my tweet deck open so I can kind of keep up on the conversations. What are people talking about? Am I, you know, as people try and interact with me, it gives me an opportunity to do that. All three on you know, at the same time. I'm not ma maximizing, minimizing. It really just gives me an opportunity to be extremely productive. And, and, you know, in addition to that, I'm showing you an example here where it's three separate applications. Certainly you can expand this across three screens too. So if you're doing something like video editing, you know, having a really, really long timeline might be very advantageous to you versus having to constantly scroll. So there's a lot of advantages from productivity. Or use multiple desktops. Absolutely, right. absolutely. And then the other thing too that, that's interesting is the way we've set up our driver, when you set up these display groups, you can set them up as three individual displays, you can set them up as one display, and we can actually, it tricks the OS into seeing it as one surface, or we could even do it to where we set this up as, as uh, you know, the way we have it here, which is this is actually considered one display group, and this is another display group. So I could actually have uh, a game running up here and play, be playing a game, have something totally different going on down here. If I want to monitor chat or something else, I could certainly do that as well. Listen to music. You know, so, so there's all kinds of different, different uh, flexibility here with the way we've, we've architected this. And you know, the, really the sky's the limit on Ifinity. Um, but with that, I'd really like to, to bring Raymond in and have him talk a little bit about the Acer Ferrari. Absolutely. And what we wanted to show you, and the impressive part about this, is that it's all being powered by this AMD-based uh, ultra-thin notebook. This is an Acer Ferrari 1. Very beautiful if you, you know, have seen these. Mm -hmm. if I've not, seen the... The, uh, an older one that we ended up giving away to the community. Yeah, yep. it, you ought to take a look at the newer ones. The newer ones just are really hot and uh, they're wonderful. Just absolutely wonderful. And but it's not a netbook. It's not a netbook. It's actually an ultra thin. It's small enough to put in a, a purse or a, a small attache or backpack, but it's powerful enough, as you can see, to basically be a workstation class machine. When you're on the road, it's an ultra portable device with a small screen full-size keyboard so you're able to do your work and do what you need to do. But when you get home, you simply plug in the ex uh, external graphics uh, unit and you've basically transformed this ultra-thin notebook into a workstation class machine. It's impressive. It's, it's uh, actually it, it, it's something beyond belief in that you're able to take uh, workstation class graphics and do it off of an ultra-thin notebook. It's just, it's That is really new. unique. Actually, it's extremely unique. Now, the connection there, what, uh, what's coming out of the notebook and into the external box? So um, what you're looking at here is a couple things. You're, it's actually a PCI Express connector. Um, it's, it's something that was designed for this purpose, uh, for the XGP graphics cage. Um, one other thing I wanted to show you is the Affinity capability that you're seeing here is something that's not actually for sale yet. We really wanted to just show you the power of, of what this little system can do. and, and really just kind of explain the capability, but you can buy the uh, external graphics cages, but the iFinity feature is not yet available, so I definitely want to make that clear to you. Sure. Well, by the time someone watches this video searching for more information on it, it may be available. Now, uh, at this point in time, the, the external boxes as they're spec, are they going to be capable of just uh, up to three screens at this point uh, and beyond? Typically, what you're going to find is people run two displays off of these. Okay. Um, you might be able to do a third display potentially with... with uh, you know, the actual notebook. But again, think of it in terms of the single large surface feature is really an Ifinity feature and that will come with our uh, DX11 capable graphics. Very nice. Anything else to add? I think uh, other than how cool it must be to play with these toys and get paid for it? I think, <laughs> I think that 
I was just going to say, we have some of the funnest jobs on the planet in terms of being able to, to play with some of the, the new technologies and enjoy them and have fun. Uh, it's almost at times unbelievable you get paid to have so much fun. And I think the thing that's really kind of just mind-boggling to me is, you know, in the past we had these big, powerful desktop machines so that we could be very productive when we're docked and we're at home. And then we had these secondary machines that we called notebooks that we would take with us so that we'd have portability. And now we've got this third thing called netbooks, which is even more portable, right? What this really does is give you something in the form factor of a netbook that has the horsepower of a notebook that when you bring it home and dock it, it basically becomes a desktop. And that, that's really what's neat to me about this is for, you know, right in the five or $600 price range for this little guy, it just gives you capabilities that we've never had access to before.